you want to create industry level projects by backing your applications with machine learning right you are at the right place hey there this is akshay madan i am the founder of groomongs freelancing agency and a flutter developer at groomongs we provide services of app dev web dev and ui ux so if you need any services you can reach out to us so now let's first of all understand or let's see some of the examples of the applications which use machine learning these are not all the examples there are almost 99% of the applications nowadays are using machine learning at the back end to recognize or predict something but these are some of the application which you can relate because you use all these application in your daily life so you must have experienced that google photos use face recognition to recognize your friends or family members right so they are using machine learning same as the google lens it is used to recognize text or images in your in their applications right and netflix uses machine learning for recommending you the best content and spotify uses it to recommend you the best music according to your genre and all and amazon is using machine learning to give you suggestions of the products that you are buying and facebook is using machine learning at their ad advertisements and in the same way all the other applications are also using machine learning in some sort of way so now let's come to the question how you can add machine learning in your apps because nowadays if you are thinking of or planning to start a startup then data science and machine learning are going to help you a lot so there are three best ways we are going to discuss today which are very easy to understand and this is not a tutorial video i'm just going to give you the ideas and if you are interested in learning how to do that stuff then you can write interested in the comment section and i'll make tutorials on that but first of all let's just go through all these ways and all the proper resources and the video links and road maps everything will be shared how you can connect machine learning with the flutter apps because i am proficient in flutter as you know that's why i'm going to take reference of flutter but you can take any cross platform network or any cross platform or app development framework and you can add the same things in your applications so first thing is firebase ml kit so let's go to the website firebase ml kit this is the uh, this is the website you can directly search firebase ml kit and this website should pop up at the top and you can see that how firebase is helping the startups companies or individuals to connect machine learning models or embed machine learning models in their projects right so let's first of all go to visit console and let's go over here and you have to first of all create a firebase project or you can choose any firebase project in which you want to add machine learning model so i'm going to select this one or you can create a new project it's totally up to you and these are all the apis which are already built by firebase and you can directly call the apis and you can get the json or you can get the results in your application directly but this is not just thing you can see all the three tabs at the top apis so these are all the pre built ones and there is custom so in this custom you can add your tensorflow model so to embed the machine learning in your application you can hire a machine learning developer or you can ask your friend to help you out because you will have to have the knowledge of tensorflow keras or python libraries to create a machine learning model i'm going to give you the ways how you can connect machine learning with your app but to create that model you need some help of an expert of data science and machine learning right so as you will create a machine learning model in tensorflow using keras or some other, some other google libraries like tensorflow then you can download that model in the tf lite model in the tf lite format you, that you can do using tensorflow directly and you can add that custom model over here so in the same way one api will be created as you know so these are all the pre built ones and as you will add your custom model then you can use the firebase ml kit flutter package and you can call your custom model too right as you were calling these models image labeling text recognition face detection and all that like the same way you will be able to call your model also and this is auto ml so this is a advanced version of using machine learning with your applications so this you can use if you are working at an industry and you are creating an industry level project because using this you can connect machine learning with gcp that is google cloud platform and you can also add your data sets you can train your models over here you can add models over here you can keep the models and you can add data sets and in the dashboard you can see the vision apis and vision product search or you can create your own apis and models over here so this is something advanced this i am not suggesting you to go directly right now but first of all you should be able to connect these apis or you should be able to call these apis and you should be able to add custom models in this module right so that you can at least create some projects uh which are backed by machine learning i'm talking about the applications right so this was the first way how you can connect machine learning with your flutter app right and the best example is that ebay motors uses firebase ml to quickly categorize images reduce cost and improve user experience so the one thing that we just learned now the firebase ml kit 
eBay Motors, which is such a big company, international company, they are already using this Firebase ML Kit to uh, back their application with machine learning, right? So this is a good inspiration for you to learn Firebase ML Kit with Flutter. Now let's move on to the second method how you can connect machine learning with applications. So it is using custom APIs. So what you can do is you can use Python backend. I'm talking about Python backend because uh, it is because you create machine learning and data science models in Python. So it really becomes easy to connect your machine learning models with the Python backend. You can also use Node.js and Express.js backend, but uh, using the Python backend will be really helpful for you. So this is an API and this is your client side and you can connect them and at the API level you are having your machine learning model. So let's understand the theory. So you first of all have to create a machine learning model. So as I told that you will require help of a machine learning developer or your friend who knows machine learning model creation and you can use it using, you can create it using Python libraries such as uh, you can use Keras, TensorFlow, right? And create a server using Flask. So creating a server using Flask is really easy and I'm going to share you some video links and you can host your model or your server on Heroku, right? So this is again a third party service and you can use it to host your uh, server or a model. Then it runs your model on server. Now make an API request as per the needs. So once your API is live publicly or you can use authentication or you can call it an API key. Using that you can create an API request from your Flutter app and you can get the results in the JSON format or anything else, right? So using this, your machine learning model is host hosted on the server and you are making API request and getting the data or the predictions, right, very easily. So you, this is a simple uh, like picture of depicting what I want to say. This is your application or your client side. You can consider it as a Flutter web project or a Flutter mobile project. Then you are creating a request using API call. This is your server on which your machine learning model is hosted. And at the server only, your uh, predictions will be made, your model will be running and you can get the response in the JSON format. That JSON format you can get it using the Python backend that is Flask. You can get the JSON format very easily using Python backend Flask. Now I've already created one video of integrating Flask and Flutter. It's a very simple tutorial and it, it is going to give you a very good idea how you can connect Flask and Flutter. You must check it out. And if you want to learn Flask, if you don't know about Flask, so these are all the videos that are there. But I'm going to suggest you the best video from which I learned. So first one is this, if you are already familiar with Python and Flask a little bit and you just want to review it. So this is one, one video, uh, Flask in one hour and this is the complete course, six hours course. And if you want a certificate course, then you can check it out this course. And this one is really good. My friends have bought it and they learned Flask from this course only, right? And you can purchase it using Udemy. I hope it was clear. And this was our second method, how you can connect machine learning with your Flutter app. Now let's move on to the third method that is using TF Lite Flutter package. So this is open also. This is the TF Lite Flutter package and I have also created two tutorials. One is complete playlist and one is uh, around 30 minutes video. And both the videos are totally enough for uh, learning TF Lite and how you can connect your machine learning model uh, locally with your, uh, with your Flutter app. Uh, by locally, I mean that now, first of all, you are creating machine learning model and you are hosting somewhere. But in this third method, you are embedding the machine learning model in your Flutter package only. In the Flutter code structure only, you are going to put your TF Lite model and you are going to make predictions locally, right? No cloud server is uh, required. So that this means that even if you switch off the internet, then also you can make predictions, right? So this is a package which you can use to make predictions and you can go through it. And if you don't want to go through it, then you can directly watch my two videos first one is emotion detection app using tf Lite or tensorflow Lite with flutter and i'm using uh, google teachable machine and the second one is mask detection app using tf Lite in flutter i'm also using google teachable to create the data sets so for both of them you don't need to actually have any machine learning knowledge or data science knowledge you can directly use google teachable machine and you can create your machine learning models also and your data sets also so i hope this was clear and yeah i hope I was pretty much clear and uh, now you know how to connect machine learning with your Flutter apps or any app because instead of Flutter you can use any other framework uh, just the packages will change just the code syntax will change but the concept is going to remain the same and these three methods are also going to remain the same right so if you have any doubts you can reach out to me till next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot